Hi, my name is Mike Colchin. I'm a design manager at Linear Technology. Today I'm going to talk about the LTC 6803, a new IC designed to monitor and balance large arrays of lithium ion battery cells, nickel metal hydride cells, and supercapacitors. The 6803 is the key electronic component in the high voltage battery packs used in hybrid electric vehicles and uninterruptible power supplies. A typical high voltage battery pack is built from 96 lithium ion battery cells connected in series. This 350 volt battery pack can hold 30 kilowatt hours of energy and cost as much as $10,000. Sophisticated electronics are needed to maximize the lifetime and the safety of this expensive power source. The electronic circuit inside a high voltage battery pack is called the Battery Management System, or BMS. The BMS measures and balances the state of charge in every individual battery cell. The state of charge and the state of health of the battery is determined by the host controller after measuring the voltage, current, and temperature of each cell. The BMS communicates the status of the pack to the outside world through a CAN interface. In an electric vehicle, the car must know when to start or stop the charging or discharging of the pack to prevent damaging the lithium ion cells. The BMS also plays an important role in maintaining safety. If an adverse condition is detected within the pack, the unit is taken offline by opening the switches or contactors located at the terminals of the pack. The new LTC6803 IC greatly simplifies the design of the battery management system. The 6803 can measure the voltage and temperature of 12 cells. Many 6803s can be stacked on top of each other to measure every cell in a large series array. Cells can be balanced using the internal MOSFETs to bleed charge from overcharged cells. A simple serial interface lets a microprocessor gather data and balance all the cells in a 350 volt array without the need for expensive digital isolators. The 6803 also includes many diagnostic features to help the BMS maintain safety. It is important to note that the 6803 performs the analog heavy lifting, but it makes no decisions and has no embedded software. The software resides in the host controller. Therefore, the failure mode and effects analysis, or FMEA, of the 6803 is pretty simple. Let's look at some of the 6803 features in more detail. The primary job of the 6803 is measuring cell voltage. Cell voltage measurements are extremely difficult inside a high voltage battery pack. This figure illustrates the problem. When a battery pack drives an electric motor or a compressor, the peak currents are hundreds of amps. These H-bridge type loads create huge switching transients. In extreme cases, the top cell of the stack must be measured while rejecting 350 volts of common mode voltage, 100 volts peak to peak of common mode noise, and 1 volt peak to peak of differential noise. The 6803 is uniquely equipped for such harsh environments. The Delta Sigma analog to digital converter includes a filter with 46 dB of rejection to differential noise past 20 kilohertz. The 6803's 80 dB of CMRR eliminates any errors from the common mode noise or common mode voltage. And the low drift reference means the accuracy is maintained over a wide range of temperatures. Switching noise not only corrupts the cell measurements, it can corrupt the serial data as well. This figure illustrates how the 6803 can be stacked with serial communications daisy chained from IC to IC. Again, no isolators are required. The data is passed up and down the stack using current instead of voltage. Switching noise creates voltage differences between adjacent ICs. The 6803 can communicate with more than 10 volt peak to peak noise between adjacent ICs. This level of noise immunity is the best on the market for BMS ICs. Another feature of the 6803 is its low current consumption. When power is removed from the IC, illustrated by the open switch in this figure, only one nanoamp of current is drawn from the battery cells. This zero current hardware shutdown mode keeps packs from discharging, even after one year of storage. 
Now let's see what happens when we close the switch. The 6803 is powered on and waiting for a command. In other words, it's in the standby state. The current consumption is a low 12 microamps. Finally, when the 6803 is making measurements, it draws 780 microamps of current. The low standby current and measurement current means that the battery cells won't become unbalanced by the electronics. A high voltage battery pack must be safe and reliable. Therefore, the BMS electronics must have the ability to detect fault conditions. The 6803 has many self-diagnostic features which can detect faults while the battery pack is operating in the field. Consider this block diagram. I have highlighted the self-diagnostic components. For example, there are two references on the IC. The primary reference used by the ADC and a second reference. In order to verify the proper operation of any data acquisition system, you must measure an independent voltage. Measuring the second reference provides this independent verification of the primary reference and the input stages of the ADC. The Delta Sigma ADC contains a sophisticated digital filter. The 6803 includes a digital filter check. Signals are fed into the digital filter, which creates zebra patterns in memory. This checks both the filter and the results registers for stuck bits. A multiplexer connects the battery cells to the ADC. A stuck address line in the IC could cause some measurements to be skipped. The decoder check block guarantees that every cell is measured every measurement cycle. Breaks in the wiring harness can be detected with the open wire check block. And finally, a watchdog timer circuit turns off the balancing MOSFETs and puts the IC in standby should communications with the microprocessor be interrupted. This feature prevents a damaging over-discharge condition. Linear technology provides demonstration hardware and software, which makes it easy to start using the 6803. Here I have my laptop running the graphical user interface, which controls our 6803 demonstration board. In between the computer and the 6803 is a simple USB interface board. The demo board comes with this handy connector, so you can easily wire up to 12 cells per board. Multiple boards can be stacked to monitor up to 120 cells. A user's manual helps you install the software and navigate the push buttons, which demonstrate the features of the IC. In this screen, the system is continuously monitoring the voltage and temperature of a 12-cell module. The boards, connectors, and software are available from the Linear Technology Office in your area. In conclusion, the LTC 6803 is the key component in a battery management system, performing critical measurements in a harsh and noisy environment, and supplying the built-in diagnostics to maintain the proper state of charge and health of every battery cell. For more information about the LTC 6803 and our other BMS ICs, please visit our website at www.linear.com. Thanks for watching.